Hi, I'm Karen Grady from Scandinavia and today I'm going to cook the traditional Danish kale soup. My mom always cooked it on a piece of pork, which I'm going to do today as well. So first I'm going to boil the pork and uh, I'll boil the kale separate as well. I'm going to chop up the kale and then the last 10 minutes I'm cooking the pork. I'm adding all the vegetables as well as the kale. Now if you don't have meat to cook it on, you know, you can just use a can of, let's say, chicken broth. It'll be just as fine. So I hope you'll enjoy it. Please let me know what you think. I just love the soup. But first I'm going to cook the pork. I already added four cups of water and it's hot so I'm putting the pork in and of course I want to make sure the pork is all covered so it looks like I need a little bit more water. Okay so I have okay about five cups of water added to the pork. Now I'm going to add a teaspoon of salt and I am also adding about, uh, about a quarter teaspoon of pepper right now and of course you decide how much pepper you want in it and also I'm going to add two bay leaves two cloves I'm adding some parsley and now I'm going to cook the pork for about one to one and a half hour I'll check on it after an hour and in the meantime, while it's cooking, I'm going to prepare the kale and as well as the vegetable I'm going to use in the soup. So now I want to make sure the, the, the water will be boiling. And when it's boiling, I want to take the foam off. All right, so I have to keep an eye on that. But in the meantime, I'm going to prepare the vegetable. So here we have the kale. And then I'm also going to use some celery. I have two leek. I have a couple of carrots and I have some potato. So the kale, I'm going to rip off the, all the leaves off the stem. The stem takes a lot longer time to cook than the leaves. And you can throw out the stem or you can chop it up and put it in the soup you know, as well to cook. So just pull off the leaves like that. And of course this soup is wonderful in the winter time. It's so healthy. Uh, when I grew up my parents grew all kinds of vegetables in their yard and they also had kale and of course kale can take the frost. So that made it easy. So while the pork is cooking in another pot, I'm going to cook the kale. And I have already washed it and taken off, you know, ripped it off here. So I'll just put it in. I have about two cups of water here I'm going to cook it in. Of course the kale will collapse right now. It's, it takes up a lot of space, but when it starts cooking, it'll Relapse. So I put on the lid and while I'm having this cooking I am going to chop up the stems because I can also put those in the soup and I'll cook the rest of the vegetable too. So I prepare all the vegetables. Here I have the celery stalks. I'm going to slice them. And I'm going to add all the vegetable uh, the last 10 minutes uh, I'm cooking the, the pork. Now if you don't want to cook meat, you can ha just have all uh, you know vegetable in the soup. You can use any kind of stock of course. You don't need to use the pork. So the kale has been cooking for about 10 minutes. Now I'm going to take it up and chop it. You can 
a la chape or if you have a blender you can use a blender and of course it looks like a lot less than before I cooked it it really collapsed quite a bit here or if you like to puree it you can also do that just about cooked and for the last 10 minutes I'm cooking it I'm going to add all the vegetable so the kale has been chopped up to tiny tiny pieces okay. so now I'm adding the kale to the meat I'm going to add the vegetable I'm cutting the potatoes up a little bit more. Okay, so now I add it to the soup. So the meat has been cooked, fully cooked. I'm going to take it up so I can cut it out. And the soup looks delicious. So I'm going to shake the water and the flour to thicken the soup stir it in let's see I might not use all of it I don't want it to be too thick okay so we let it boil a little bit and I'm going to slice my meat. It's nice and tender, it's all falling apart. So here I have a nice plate with the boiled pork. I have some hot mustard and I have some white bread. And besides that, of course, I'm going to have some kale soup. So a little bit more soup in my plate. And I'm ready to taste it. So hot, but yeah, it's very good. Mm, I love it. So of course, in this case, you want a little bit of meat. Dip it in the mustard. Mm, good. Have a bottle of rye bread. If you want to bottle the rye bread, go ahead. In this case, I didn't do it. I need some soup. And I have a wonderful winter soup, kale soup. It's healthy and delicious, and I enjoy it very much. And I hope you will too. Please subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much, and see you another day.